for me, Argentina. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the next episode of Kiss My Wax Remastered. I almost said Kiss My Collectibles. I am one of your co-hosts, Jason Herndon, and with me, as always, is my buddy, Joe Lalich. Hey, hey. And this is a real background. Yes, I have sold all of my records, and this will be the last show that I'm on. Um, It's been a good run. I've enjoyed it. Thank Mm -hmm. you, Jason, for having me, and... You know, yeah. for all of our good times and bad times, but uh, we're we're titling this one "Farewell, Joe." So this will be it. Yeah, I've got nothing to show. Obviously, I mean, look at yeah. that background behind me. <laughs> uh, maybe Joe will explain why that is a little a little later. We'll see. So, also joining us on the drums, John Humphrey from Seether. On the drums, up, John Humphrey on the drums. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's going on, man? Hey, good You've to see you. been on the road, haven't you? I've yes, seen been on the road, photos. playing some shows. Thank God. Yeah, it's awesome. It's great to be to be out and playing shows, and I think people are are eager to go to shows. The audiences have been great. So, yeah, man, it's good. It's good to be I back. See. And thanks for having me back to the show. Yeah. yeah, thanks. We appreciate it. And I've seen the photos, man, from the drum riser. It looks awesome. Yep. Thanks, great, man. Great seat. Great yes. seat in the house. It's it just is. awesome seeing that sea of people. It's very cool. It is the best seat in the house, for sure. That's right. It's a good one. Yeah. All right. Also joining us, our esteemed co-host from over at Collectibles, who's been spending a little time with us over here on the Wax episodes on guitar, John Five. And I'm the person that bought all of Joe's records, so thank you very much. (laughs) That's right. The the, the zombie crew just had a tour stop here through Detroit, and John just came over and just, I'll take all of this. How much for all of this? Right, right. (laughs) And this is my friend friend Craig. He's going to help out today, and uh, wonderful vinyl collector. collector, And uh, so we're going to do this. We're going to get it on, baby. Thanks for joining us, Craig. All right. Thanks, Craig. I apologize in advance. Yes. <laughs> Not nearly as much as I do. <laughs> All right. So uh, on this episode, I think the last Wax episode we did, we also had this same crew on, right? And we no, we had Alan Belisha with us. Right. I can't. I can't remember. We did. Yeah. We did. We did a uh, Japanese. The big, vinyl, right? yeah. the big Japanese record run. Yeah, that was a great one. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So on this one, we're going to tackle Argentina, and uh, I think we'll probably. Uh, you know, hit some of these countries that have some more unique pressings. And, uh, you know, just since we went through the whole catalog with the original wax and, and now what we're doing now. So we're going to we're going to do some countries just like we did Japan. So we're going to hit Argentina this time. And uh, and and Pablo, if you are watching, I'm sorry if we screw all of this up. So. Yes, <laughs> we will I do our best. Think- but thank you for the crib sheet. Yes, that's great. <laughs> Pablo <laughs> sent us a nice, nice list of, of, uh, of all the records that came out, plus photos, and I'll be referring to it in case we miss anything. So, all right, guys. Well, as always, let's do this. I'm gonna open it. Oh, what's in the box? What's in the fucking box? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> if I ever meet Morgan Friedman, I'm just going to go, uh. <laughs> you, th- you think he would know what that meant? Of course. Uh. My favorite line of yours in any movie is, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I get that. I get that a lot. <laughs> I love, I understand. Yeah. I love uh, Clint Eastwood, and I saw uh, Clint Eastwood. I was at one of his son's shows, and Clint was there at the bar. And I walked up to him, and you know, I loved all the early Universal, you know, monster movies. And he was in um, Revenge of the Creature, and that was 1955. And it was like one of his. He, he had like two lines, 
you know, people usually go up to him and say, oh, I loved you and, you know, this or that or the other thing. I went up to him and I was like, Mr. Eastwood, I'm a huge fan and I loved you in Revenge of the Creature. And he, I swear to you guys, he just looked at me and grunted. He was like, ah. <laughs> that's awesome yeah, yeah right. <laughs> it's like it's like Susie Essman from Curb Your Enthusiasm if you guys are aware like she just yells and screams and curses on that show at people all the time yeah. and she says she has people stop her on the street all the time and they want her to yell at them Right. Like, yeah. she, <laughs> yell like at she yells me. at <laughs> so it's like Clint like please will you please grunt at me please like, <laughs> yeah. mm. <laughs> that's great all right, so what's in the box? Does anybody have anything they want to show? Uh, Joe, you're starting finish. your record collection over, and you're going to show us your first record, right? That's right. That's right. Yeah, I, I mean, I can I can go first. So let, let me just get this out of the way. So I'm having these shel this shelving system built, and it's supposed to be wrapped up tomorrow. So my uh, we were joking before that all my records are in an undisclosed location and uh, at J5's house in Los Angeles. And uh, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so that that's where everything is. Fear not, I'll still be around as much as Jason and everybody else doesn't want that to be the case. Oh um, so this is something that I've never had. Whoa! That, oh, that, nice. that I was happy to get. Um, yeah, for some reason, I mean, I know it's not. I know you know it's a cool thing to have for sure. It's not like a a major collectible piece. I don't think at this point, probably. Um, I don't know. But, you know, I mean, I guess in collector circles, you know what I mean? Like if you're a real kids vinyl collector, you probably you probably have one of these in your in your collection. But, yeah, it's a, um, a Brazil Good box. One. So it, it, it includes all of the records on the on the on the cover there. How's your spine Thanks. on it? Uh, it's actually really pretty good. It, oh, it's funny wow. the, the, the whole bo the whole box is in really nice condition, except for, you know, this little bit up here. Um, and actually, the front looks a little bit worse for wear relative to the to the rest of the box. It actually looks really, you know, really nice. So, so nothing's um, taped together at all. Nothing's taped together. No, it's actually in really nice shape, and it's got the, um, you know, it's got the couple of inserts that, that come with it here that are, yep. Oh, nice. Guys. And then all the and then all the records and yeah. So it's I mean it's in really nice shape as far as. You know, that goes. You can see how nice the the box is and all that stuff. That's so nice. Yeah, yeah. I was happy to get it. It's uh, it was one that just had eluded me for years, or one came up and I just don't want to pay the price for you know what they were going for at the time. Um, so I was able to get that. Um, and then I can show you these. I got a nice collection of South African solo records. Very nice. So those I got all all four of those in one shot. So that was. That's pretty cool with the um, love gun. Yeah, love, love it. Yeah, love it. Love it. Cool. Love it. So that's those, and then the last guy, and John Humphrey. I know you'll enjoy this one. The debut. Oh, Bolivia. From Bolivia, yeah. So really that's interesting awesome. back back cover. A little bit of writing on this yeah. one, unfortunately, but um, yeah, this one. It's a really, it's a hard one to find. Yeah. But really cool. And I just love these, you know, when they get to be this different, it's really interesting. And yeah. Cool, you know, yeah. I can show the label real quick on this. I guy. love the label on it. It's RCA. Yep. 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 Ah, yeah. That's awesome. Incredible. Yeah. So awesome this, is a, this is a tough one to find. Yeah. So yeah, it's one of my favorites. I mean, like, yeah. Of all. Yeah, it's a good one. It's worldwide good one. vinyl, it's like one of my favorites for sure. Yeah, it's that's cool. awesome. That yeah, RCA logo, go. such a trip. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's great. Yeah, I mean, just all like the little cool different things in here, yeah. and you know, it's it's uh, it's a it's a good one. And these are you know based on like the condition of this, we always talk about these are records that I'll just get if I can get them in any condition just to have them because they're so tough to find. Yeah, and then maybe yeah. someday find an upgrade copy. But yeah, it's, sure. No, that one's pretty nice. Yeah, it's real yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, it's not yeah. not too bad. I mean, it's got you know some of the writing on it, and you know, but yeah. not too bad. So there you go. That's my. I've got I've got other things, but those are the things that I could quickly unearth with the uh, state of my collection at the moment. Congratulations. Those that's nice hauls. That's, that's yeah, not too nice. bad. Yeah, not too bad. Awesome. Yeah. All right, who wants to go next? <clears throat> Who's up? Who's up? Humphrey. Okay. You want me to go? Uh, Humphrey. Yeah, go. Humphrey can go. 
Okay, this one I, I did show on the page, but I'll show it here again. I was real excited to get this. Uh, and I picked it up from, is it John Hollowell? Hollowell, yeah. Yeah, yeah Hollowell. Yes, yes. Yeah. He's selling yeah, his yeah. entire so, collection. Yeah, it's crazy. But anyway, so I picked up uh, Unmasked and mm -hmm. uh, the pressing from Ireland. Oh, right. Crazy. Crazy. Yeah, crazy. It's, really, not been, it's not been documented. Yeah. It's kind of a weird label, the Mercury wow. label. Cool Mercury. But yeah, it's not even documented, and, and it's a really hard one to find. I didn't realize, but of course, when I heard about it, I had to find it, and then John put his up for sale, and I went for it. So that's awesome. What year? What year is that? 1980. Is it 80? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. First. Wow, that's awesome. Release. Yeah, it's a weird one. It's really cool. I've never even seen another one of those come up. I mean, that's a that's that's one of those ones when you hear about it, you almost do a double take, and you're like, "What?" And it's it's like we talked about ad nauseum on the show, just how things pop up right. that we're just unaware of, and it's like, really, there's an there's an Ireland copy pressing right. That? right. You know, right. it's just it's amazing, and but that's what makes it still fun and cool to be able to unearth these kinds of things. You know, sure, that's sure, right. it's very cool. And then I just got this in the mail, so this double platinum reissue. It's the non-gatefold cover. It's the printed. It's not actually embossed, right. but it's from Canada. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's kind of cool. Canadian Filmworks. Very yeah, interesting. Awesome. There from '85. Nice. Very, so very nice. Cool. And then, of course, being back on the road, I love hitting the record stores again. <laughs> and uh, they had a '70s variety section in this particular record store, and they had hard goods, nice. right? which is always great to pick up. I always try to grab it. But this one, it's not the palm tree labels. That's oh. right. Cool Warner. Do we have that one? So it's like, I think this is from 78. Uh, that, I think that's correct, 78. Yeah, it's such a strange sampler, right? It, um, <clears throat> you know, released in 74, and then I guess, you know, obviously reissued in 78, so it had the different label, which I never find. I always find the palm tree label, but never right. that one. Right. That's right. And then, um, Very cool. real quick, I picked up Dynasty. This is the 8384 501. Nice. Uh, it doesn't have a barcode sticker. I have another one that actually has a sticker. And then it has the Filmworks label. That's awesome. Instead of the, the picture label. And then real quick, I just got in off the soundboard the color vinyl version from Germany. That's right. Yeah, so I haven't uh, opened the other... U.S. color vinyl, but I haven't opened this one yet. But I just got are those. Are, are those the only two versions of that? So there's the U.S. and then the German white, or are there more than that? There's way more Co than that. Yeah, of the colored vinyl. Just generally speaking, I didn't know. So I know that there's, there's like the cardboard U.S. version, right? Like right, the more craft right. paper kind of looking one. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. right. And then there's a, uh, I believe, a Euro version right. that is white. And right. a Euro version that's brown, and then there's the German version that's white, and the German version that's colored, and right. yeah, there's like six, six or so, so variants, variations. If yeah. If you're into collecting all, and and a couple of them are probably just, you know, I don't I don't want to say error, but maybe they just use the stock that they had instead of stock the stock right. that yeah, was intended. Yeah. You know. Right. Right. I forget which country the color vinyl. There was a a <clears> variant <throat> where the of the three LPs, the last one's like blue in yes, color. Yes, that's right. Of the the bone bone and clear. That's right. Strength, that's right. Sort of mix up. Yeah. So yeah, and, yeah, and when we, yeah, and when we were talking about it in in wax and and the the Euro version popped up in white. Tom German, who designs all of Kiss's stuff, you know, said, "I never intended that to be on any color, but that brown, you know, stock." Right. right. So if they're doing it in white they're making that call on their own. So, oh, wow. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty interesting stuff. Um, so that's, and, that's it for me. Just those vinyl finds. Yeah. Cool. That's Very cool. Great stuff, yeah. man. Five, you want to go? Um, sure. This, uh, I got this Ace Freely, uh, from Taiwan. You can nice. see that. So cool. Yeah. Very cool. But here's the, uh, cool part. Right. It's a, uh, on the back. Yeah. Paul Stanley. Love it. That's and awesome. Writing and all that stuff. So it's pretty neat. Uh, and then the label looks pretty cool. It is in the book too. Yeah. Yeah. 
So pretty neat. Very cool. um, so is it one side of the album on one side, or is it two LPs? It is, let's see. So there's, on Paul's side, there's four songs. And on Ace, Ace's side, there's five songs. Oh, wow. I know, wild, huh? That's cool. It's like kind of like their own best of. Right. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wild. Uh, and then let's see, what else do we got? I got um, the Alive from France, which is pretty cool. I forgot that I could be doing this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I love that one. Love that, it, love yeah. it, love it. Yeah. That, that one's so cool. That's a tough one. Yeah. yeah. Got that. And then um, what else do we got? We got, I got the double platinum uh, from Columbia. La da dee, la da do. Let's see. Let me open this some bitch. Yeah. Another great one. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Love it. Pretty cool. It. And then yeah. uh, what else do I'm we got? I think I'm going to replace the intro song with just you humming that. Oh. La -da -dee, la -da -dee. We'll get all, all harmonized. We'll do that. And then I got this. Oh, oh. Just throw that away. Junk. Yeah. Just got that. <laughs> Junk. <laughs> pretty cool. Well done. Well yeah. done. Uh, if anybody still listens to this podcast and doesn't watch it, John just held up the rarest Kiss record of all time. <laughs> Best of Kiss from Japan. Yeah. Hey, can we see the? Can you just show the label real quick on that? Yeah. Sure. You Let's don't just one. blow past that now. So. <laughs> oh, let's see. <clears throat> <laughs> Pretty neat. Beautiful. Yeah. Don't drop it. I know, right? <laughs> I should play it. I'm sitting yeah. right by a re record player, you know? You should play it. Um, <clears throat> also, by the, the uh, Taiwan... It's weird because there's, I've, I, there's two albums, so there's like, it's weird. One side is Ace, one side Paul, and so so on and so forth. So it's mm -hmm. like it's a two album, one, you know, cover deal. It's really wow. strange. Wow, it's super cool. And I was <laughs> surprised that it was in the book. You know, I was yeah. very surprised. Interesting stuff. Yeah, beautiful Good stuff. Man. Well, not that oh. anybody can outdo that. So, oh. Joe, Poor where'd jo you go? Joe, Joe fainted. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm I'm knocked out in the I'm knocked out in the corner. I'm just looking to try and show everybody something. I don't know, but go ahead. You guys keep going. I'm gonna just gonna look. Here well, real I'll quick. just right. I'll just show mine. Mine's not vinyl related, uh, and I know two of the guys on here. At least two of the guys on here has this, but. I've waited 40 years to get one, and I finally got this. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Very thank nice. You. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Nice, yeah. too, too That's big, awesome. Too big to lug, lug around in here and show it on screen, so I had a little video. Sure. But uh, but uh, yeah, a few, a couple little steel shots. <laughs> that's <Yeah>. awesome. <laughs> that's just how. That's just leave it like that for the whole show. <laughs> yeah, just. I'll, yeah. And I did. What we need to do is get, we need to get bumper caps with all of our faces on. Well, that's a good John, idea. John, John, you play one side. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I can put my yeah. hand. <laughs> or they gotta, gotta figure it out. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I don't, I don't have the whole machine. I know that I know that five has the whole machine of this, but I also did buy this back glass. Yeah. Oh, yes. So I do have, you know, there it is coming out of the box on the other machine. So yeah. um, I did, uh, when I bought the machine, actually drove up to Michigan and back with my buddy Danny Dabs in, in a day. Danny Dabs, where's where's our drink? That's right, where's our drink? <laughs> That's right, everybody. everybody. Yeah. Daddy's water burns. Thank you, Danny. 
That fucker went, drove drove all the way with me to Michigan from Tennessee, nine and a half hours to pick up that machine, loaded it in a truck, and brought it back home in the same day. That's We're like great. 22 wow. hours on the road. It's worth it. That's a good yeah. friend right there. But he is a good friend. So uh, not, not, not that this needs to be said, but I would never do that with you, Jason. I know you wouldn't. <laughs> That's what I'm I saying. That's a good friend right there. I don't think my wife the, would do that. I thought no. Danny was the only person. So, uh, but but I I don't know how many people I mentioned this to, but the guy that sold me that and the machine was in really great shape. He'd owned it since 1994. He'd sold off all his Kiss collection, and that was the last piece he had. Wow. He also had like a parts machine that he threw in, so you can have this too. So I've got a whole other cabinet. It doesn't have legs. It's got, it's got, uh, it doesn't have a back glass, but it's got the whole, it's got the guts and, you know, it's roached out, but I have a whole other machine in there, you know, that I could probably That's throw awesome. some legs on. You talked about an excited wife. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I got two of them and one of them is broken. It's awesome, man. <laughs> and it looks it's, awful. It does. <laughs> but they're different. We're going to understand. You, and we're going to put it, it right this one, here. That's right. right. This one has mouse shit in it. This is, <laughs> <Yeah>. you know, <laughs> it was in a barn for 25 years. So. She's anyway, fine that, to watch Bravo and Jason's in the front room. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> they don't have any other room for it. Yeah. That's right. So. Anyway, all right, that's 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 my what's in the box. Very nice, very nice. So just real, just just real quick, John. Five. I think I've shown this to you, John Humphrey. I was I would I hit you up at one point and was going to show this to you as well. Um, just was sharing some of the new um, sleeves that I'm kind of moving to. So yeah. this is um, there's a place called VinylSolutions.ca. I don't know, John Humphrey. Do you know about these things? Yeah, in Canada. Canada. We talked about them. Yeah, the guy the guy from Canada. Right. Yeah. So what's cool is. So I can show you just real, just real quick. I've got a box of them sitting here. Um, so what essentially he did was he created this uh, clear sleeve, but then there's a secondary pocket in it. So I don't know if you can make that out. So, so you can put the record in one side, the, the actual jacket in one side, and then the actual record and sleeve on the other side. But, but so that, that, I thought that was a pretty cool, cool idea just by itself, right? Right. But what you can do with these is if you have a gatefold, you can actually marry them together. You actually yeah. take the two sleeves and put them together. So you have the so one cool. record one record on the back, right? And then yeah. when you open it up, you have another record on the inside. And then you can actually just take them out. So you're never actually even having to touch the sleeves at that point. So you can take the record out that way. And then they come in different, you know, different uh weights i think yeah. this is like a this is the heaviest one this is a four mil but they do a two mil as well so i don't know i just thought it was something that was really cool that you can quickly you know sort of look at the gatefold records that yeah. way yeah i think you it's know? great i mean for the gatefold like you said putting the two together in and like most collectors i also i put the vinyl behind the cover you know i never leave it in the so that's a great way to you know access the vinyl without having to it touched the cover at all so right yeah, and the really jacket cool. itself is actually like sealed you know sealed away which is right which is great and right. you never even really have to touch it after you've you know sort of cleaned it off or done whatever you've done with it so yeah as, cool. exactly. as you casually demonstrated that with one of the rarest kiss records also yes uh, right yeah, well what's funny well yes i i, Joe, have, Joe I did that on purpose i think he did yeah right Right, right, right. I did not do that on purpose. I'm just trying to help the people. I'm That's a, right. I'm, I'm nothing if not a man of the people. That's right. Yeah, I need to. I need to get hit. Mine's just old school with it in the sleeve. Yeah. So I'll have to get that. I will have to figure it out. Yeah, they're 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 really cool though. They're um, it's a it's a cool way to you know sort of store your records. So something to think yeah. about. Minosolutions.ca. And no, I don't know the guy, and I'm not getting paid for this endorsement. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, sure, yeah. sure right. you're not. But they'd be paying me in Canadian dollars, which is like a, a 10 cents on the dollar. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, let's move into Argentina, shall we? <clears throat> let's right. show. Now, how, how do we want to – how do you all think we should tackle this? Um, I don't know. I have a feeling I'm going to learn more than I actually have in this episode. We'll see. But well, I I, I don't have a, whole, a ton either. So hopefully, John has a whole lot to show. John, you got a whole lot to show? I got a couple here and there. Just a couple. I, I've, got, I've got some as well. It's interesting. You know, 
I don't know. Some of the I'm I'm sure John Five or John Humphrey, you guys have pulled the the different version covers, right? Like Rock and Roll Over and Hotter Than Hell and those things already. You've got those pulled. I'm assuming. Yes, I I do. I do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But like for Hotter Than Hell, for example, I have the first press as well. But like um, Rock and Roll Over, I I only have that unique cover version. So I have some right. holes here and there for sure. Okay. Let me uh, while we're while while you guys are talking amongst yourself, I will grab some of these. I just pulled some of the other ones that I could find out of the bunch that I had. First I pressing. So Jason, should you read off Pablo's list? And yeah, I'm going kinda... I'm to kind of go by that to kind of guide us. Yeah. Because you know what what you run into is you have you know microphone, you know the the first. Okay. Sets of records they come out in '76, so we don't start. Um, oh, it's it's kind of hard to explain, but like once we get to Destroyer, we can show, you know, like the microphone version and the and the phonogram version. Okay, you know, sort, right. Sorts of things, but at first we just we have microphones. So okay. and it looks like the first ones we should start with um, are the in vivos. Okay. In vivos. Those, those are apparently the first ones released. Okay. Because the first album didn't come out until 77. The In Vivos come out in 76. Uh, so what would be the first album that came out? In Vivo, Alive Part 1. non -land. Okay, I got, I got that. So. Yes. Uh, let's okay. talk a little bit about the laminated, non-laminated yeah, let's let's do, as well. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, mine's non-laminated. I, I believe I believe those those are all non-laminated. And the label, okay. I love this label. Yeah, okay. yeah. Let's show up five. Yeah, it's a great okay. label. <clears throat> um, yeah, non-laminated. Yeah, home free. Well, it's beautiful. Pretty and stuff. The back. Yeah. Super cool. Super, super cool. Yeah, this guy. All right. So, and then following that up with In Vivo uh, Part 2. Part 2. Yeah. There you go. God, you gotta love that, man. Wait a minute. You're so backwards, cool. Joe. Right, then the backwards, yeah. Yep. So this one and then yep. this one. Yeah. That's right. So cool. Look at that. Hold on, hold on, Joe. The back of the book. Is I everyone familiar it. with the Alive booklet? Is the cover for this one? Which yeah, is so yeah, awesome. that, that, that's what makes it so cool, right? God, these, it's badass, a lot of these, man. Yeah, these different versions from Argentina are so cool. So cool. And same yeah. label and everything, right? Yeah, yeah. Same label. So cool. And the black and white back but, cover is but, awesome too. Yeah, flimsy is uh, all get out. Yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah. right, right, real flimsy. Right, it's <laughs> really weird. flimsy. Very thin, but in, in, but in surprisingly in nice condition. Yeah, Humphrey, yours looked mint. Yeah, yeah, that looks beautiful. Beautiful. Anybody has any extras? Yeah. I'm looking. I don't have them. You don't have them? I don't. Got to get him, man. I know I don't have a lot. I probably only have about. He didn't. He didn't tell you that he has nine pinball machines in the house. Now? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You got to sell one of those. I spent That's my right. vinyl budget for the year on pinball machines. So. <laughs> <laughs> so. And he had to come up to Michigan to get it, J Five. That's right. Yeah. This right. Is where all the good stuff is, baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. All right. Let's see. After that. Uh, we are going to go to also on microphone that came out in 1977, the first album, non laminated. Who has it? What is the catalog number? That I don't think is it I the, have. Does it begin with the SUP or is it SUP 767? So, but mine, it's not a Casablanca label, Jace, when you say microphone. It is uh, Casablanca. Yeah, but Microphone is, I believe, was the distributor. Okay, gotcha. So that might be in the small, yeah, text yeah. there or something. Yeah, it's going to be in the small the text. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is cool. I'll show the back of this one. 
Um, yeah, check that out. Because obviously they, they put a huge so black cool. bar, and then one. yeah, all the go up there. You go all the writing. Yeah, that's a good one. I do not have oh, that no. one. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Does that say microphone on it anywhere? Yes, microphone Argentina SA. Yep, right go. here. It should yep. should probably have 1977 on it somewhere as well. It does. Yeah, 1977. Yeah. Yeah. Sure so that does. was that's right. So the in vivos, those first in vivos came out in '76. So that's a great, great, great example. All right, and then. Then we move to um, the hotter than hell, which is the five. You want to pronounce that? No. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Mas the... caliente KL inferno. inferno. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, perfect. perfect. I got it. I butchered yeah. it. Yeah. Now this this is no, supposed to be five different one. Yeah, this is this is cool. Oh, this that's is... the first one. The hot that's right. Here. That's the yeah. first one. That's okay, with, that's with the, the hype one. sticker on the back. Hold on, Humphrey. Let me pull you up here. Yeah, J5 does not have that one. Yeah. So mine does not have the hype sticker on the back. Interesting. Hmm. So is it usually on the back, right? Yeah. It, it, where's, yeah. Where, where's the fake, the fake, fake, fake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I made this on my computer. I mean. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you just see a big roll of those stickers at Humphrey's house. It's like, <laughs> he's got a roll, like a whole wall of rolls of hype stickers. He's like, oh, which one? Fake, 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 fake. There you go. That's it. That's it. <laughs> oh, that's cool, man. It's So it's got regular S's on the label. Is that what yours looks like, John? Mine is the uh, Casbah. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Uh oh. We have a, uh, yes, a I'm kiss quandary. Up. This is a, it's a distinct possibility. We have and a kiss quandary because there's a plethora of hotter than hell from Argentina, correct? There's this a few is, of them. Mine stated 77 <laughs> on the label. Different cover. Hold on, I'm reading. A kiss conundrum. No, I don't. I don't see what Joe's would do. Joe, hold your label up again. Wow, that looks... you, want, you want a single me, Jason? Yep, going to right now. I was reading the list. Well, this is good. This is good to, wow. to see this. Pablo, tell us what, what's going on here. If you're yeah, watching. Unless I have the country screwed up here. But I, I think this is I think that's this one. So there you go. Mm -hmm. I've got it from '77. Yeah, the same cover. Yeah, the non laminated, which this is. So I don't know. Cool. Well, you, there, you've got the sheet new... there too, right? What's the catalog? Yeah. Is the catalog number on the yeah. label? Compare y'all's catalog numbers. Mine's the uh, SUP seven eight one. Yeah, it's not on this one. Let's see. Can you can I see the back cover of yours, John Humphrey? Yeah. What's in the lower right hand corner? Do you have a little? Oh, see, that's totally different than mine. I'm gonna have to do some looking. Yeah, you're gonna. I, I, Unless I, I'm completely wrong, I mean. No, no I yours mean, I, is definitely right. <laughs> well, well, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Joe, you don't. Yeah, Joe. He's, <laughs> what, what no, John, you doing, yours is definitely right. <laughs> 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 Jeez. Years of years of part years of partnership come down to this. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> no, but see, this is Joe this constantly is, fucks shit up. So this is no, what's yeah. wonderful is now there's a, a new discovery on another variant of Potter and Hell. Well, I mean, Joe, on your on the ring on the label, does it say Argentina? In there, and I just looked this up a few minutes ago, and it came up Argentina, but I don't remember where what the number was that I looked it up through. Let's let's do some more investigating, and if we maybe we can put a comment down below when we get to the bottom of what 
is okay. going on here. Sounds good. All right, so that's 77. Okay. Um, traveling along on microphone, uh, next we would have uh, the Dress to Kill. Um, just one KISS logo on the cover, non-laminated, and it's, and it's the Spanish titles. Vestidos para something. I don't want to look at that. Hold on, let's. Yeah, I can yes, only solo uh, one one of you at a time. Check that out. I have that in my stack of records someplace. How cool is that? It's a good one. It's a good one. What's yeah, the, looks, I, again, I love those different covers. Oh, just what's the label look like cool. that on that? Five's got mine. It. It's SUP. It's a. Uh... That is so cool. Yeah. Very neat. Boy, that, that one's pretty rough. John Humphreys is beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah. really nice. Look at that. Thank you. Very nice. So, Joe, you you do have that. You just didn't. You don't have it. I, I do. Yeah, it's just in my stack of records back there. I'm just gonna lie about all this stuff and say yes, I have all of these. I have so, every one of these. I would, <laughs> including best of kits. I have that. It's just it's back yeah. there, and I can't be <laughs> Sorry, bothered guys. to go digging for it. <laughs> Oh, uh, oops. No, 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 no. Uh oh. Oh, sorry. No, I just loot lost. The pinball machine right. comes back. <laughs> 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 okay. Ding, ding, oh. ding, 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 ding. <laughs> we need to make a little video meme of that. Bling, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Some play every time. Exactly. All right. So, next up, 1977 on microphone, uh, distributed by microphone, is Destroyer. Let's see. Do you do who has it? Is that destroyer or is that destructor? Oh, that this. Oh, let's see. Wait, yeah. I have the destroyer too. Yeah, get the destroyer. I only have this. Yeah, this is excellent. Well, it's in my know? other pile of records. <laughs> <laughs> it's in my other room. Hold on. Another, in other... <laughs> Another back to the Casbah looking. Yeah. That's awesome. It's That's great. cool. So it turns out, gentlemen, that what I showed it looks like is from El Salvador. Oh. oh. So, so edit her out. That's I awesome. Can't, can't do it. We were at That's rare about it as the hell. <laughs> El Salvador. Yeah. Is that all right. That's yeah, awesome. So, that, so that's what that was. That's what that was. I just had clicked on the wrong, um, the wrong image on Discogs when I looked it up. Yeah. So there you go, El Salvador. So take okay. that. Still though, very cool. Very cool. Uh oh, John, want to get some more stuff? It's true. Yes, there is the El Salvador. Nice. And it's true. I have two actually. Nice. Oh. And that is that and yours has the, the regular S's on the label yeah. as well? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Also Mas Caliente Kelly Inferno. Very good. Uh, yeah. So there you go. I I'll need take that it, John. one. I'll take it, John. Ten dollars. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh seventy seven is still on microphone here. We're rock and roll over, non laminated. Yeah, I don't have that one. Okay. That's Joe's so, favorite album. He's going to come through. You Joe, know what's interesting? I I do well. Let's see. Is it the is it this one with the crazy cover? No, that's the second one. I think that's the second one. It's Where's Joe's favorite cover? record, and he's going to come through. Yeah! Woohoo! So there you go on that. So one. Is that the low? Is that the Casablanca logo? And that's interesting. Wow. Look, look at that. Yeah, it's actually. Oh, oh. Actually, yeah. Hold on a second. Hold on, because uh, El Salvador. Pablo, no, <laughs> yeah, Pablo said right. something specifically about this. He said, <laughs> "This one's from Peru. I don't even know what we're doing." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pablo said the first edition of Rock and Roll Over, the microphone, the microphone one, had the front cover rotated, and you see Gene and Paul's faces in the lower part. Also, ah, the Casablanca cool. white logo, a Casablanca white logo was added in the middle of the cover. That's that's great. That's I cool. love that. That That's is so cool, cool man. Oh, Hell go. yeah. And this one's in really nice shape. Again, it really is. clumsy, but it's really 
20 bucks. You got it. 2150. <laughs> do I hear do I hear 25? That's this is great. I'm going to have 25 and I'll take you to dinner at Taco Bell. All right. <laughs> What's the label look like? Hey Joe, Nick, show the label. Joe, 25, show the label. 25, 28, 28, 28. <laughs> very nice. That's very cool. Way to come That's through. Beautiful. Man. Yeah. Nice. All else fails if we don't have something. I have photos. I just have to load them in real quick and show. So, all right. So, following that, also 1977, it says rock and roll over, laminated on the front only. Oh, wow. shit. So, does anybody have that? I don't. That I do not have. Let me see if I can find it here real quick. Scrolling. Now, you, you know what's going to happen is everyone's going to be on Discogs and eBay searching for these records. That's right. That's, I know. That's what all of the, it's what the show has always done. The, the poor people down in Argentina are just going to be flooded with Kiss guys going, right. I said the laminated cover. cover dumbass. <laughs> I said Casablanca <laughs> near Gene and Paul. <laughs> Gene and it's Paul. Rotated. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> well, I don't think Pablo included a photo of that. He only has the one that Joe had. So we are moving along. So anyway, there is a there is That's a version of that cover. that particular one that has the front cover only laminated. None of us have it. Uh, call that number and sell it to us. So yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, still in 1977, we have Love Gun with a laminated only front cover. Who has it? I don't think I have. The first love gun either. Uh, Nothing, John. Picture? Five. I just have the. Yeah, that guy. Not, yeah same that's as the, me. Yeah, the reissue. That's when we get the phonogram, I believe. Yeah. So it looks like. Well, there it is. I thought I had that one. Pinball in machine. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> we have to just cut to Looks Jason like playing that. with them. Ah, ah, okay. Hold on. Let me throw in the back cover real quick. The back cover's a little different. Right. Coming now. And there's your back cover. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So this has a laminated front cover and uh, only. So apparently that is laminated. So. <clears throat> hard to tell but so yeah there's some for you guys to uh search out yes yes okay uh we're gonna we... do argentina remastered that's right right <laughs> we'll have the... Re remastered re remastered that's right <laughs> all right yeah. and then up next we have in vivo two part one yellow tile okay. this is a, a live two part one non-laminated who has that that's ah, it very, very cool do not oh, have those. I, I know, oh, me either. Look those are that. tough. Yeah. Man, that is so, so cool. Pretty Very cool. cool. Sorry about the light, fellas. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty neat. God, yeah. that is great, dude. And in good shape, too. Yeah, good, really you know, good. What's the label look like? A label. La da dee. La da dee. Uh oh, hold on. It's always confusing doing this. Coming in, hot. Coming in hot. There you nice. go. Nice. Very cool. How you get the idea? Yes. We see. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, so that's that's Flan Jive coming in. Flan Jive. Flan Jive. You get the idea. Oh. Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> I said yellow too. Damn. Laminated. Come All on. Right. So in Vivo 2 Part 2 with the blue titles, Alive 2 Part 2 non-laminated. Who has it? No. <laughs> Just slowly all weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's great. Beautiful. Yeah. And then those the label. Are, those are so tough, tough to find. Uh, so. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you get the idea. You get the idea. <laughs> Pretty neat. But good shape, too. You know, like these are. Considering, yeah. Yeah, they're tough. 
This is a professional show here, folks. We've we've got it down. <laughs> Since when? Exactly. One drive. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last one on the microphone label is. Uh, very, very for, for those of you who don't get the reference, it's Led Tasso from from Ted. If you guys watch Ted Lasso, he's yeah. The so just guy got in into world. it, just getting yeah. into it, yeah. So he's the sweetest guy in the world. But in yes. one of the episodes, he decides that he needs to have his alter ego come out to get the team to go against him. So they all band together. So he becomes yeah. Led Tasso. And he turns <laughs> over a he turns over a water table and he's all upset. So it's it's, it's fun jive. Yeah. And low jollich. Low low jollich. And and Han Jumpfrey. Uh, Han <laughs> Jumpfrey. Yes. Hasten. Hasten Jordan. That's Hassan Hayson to you. Hassan, Hassan Jordan. That's great. That's right. And then the last one on the microphone label, uh, I believe everybody has this, is La Mejor de Yes. I have this. This is very rare. And all four of us have it. <laughs> it is incredibly <laughs> rare. Yeah, this is a tough one. And actually, John, hard to find John Humphrey impossible. and I have, yeah, we have a little bit of a history on this one. Uh, John Humphrey and I, because I, I had the one that Jason's holding up. That's right. right. I, I got a line on this one. I'm like, man, this one is in such nice shape. I quickly called John Humphrey to because I remembered that his was sort of different looking as well. And so we kind of went over all the 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 um, you know the markings on it. And right. It, it, all, it right. all sort of sorted out. But yeah, it was. Yeah, we figured it out. And Joe's is a complete fake. Yes. <laughs> yes. <absolutely. laughs> and, I, and I think, Joe, I think you got me, uh, you turned me on to this one, I believe. Look at me. I'm just, I'm a, am I, I'm a giver. That's what I, that's what I do. Yeah, he, he really is. Unbelievable, <laughs> unbelievably hard to find, but we all have it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There there's, you go. <laughs> there's five copies on the planet and there's four of them in this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So don't go show. looking for them. We've got them all. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> They're all screwed. Oh, Good man. luck to you. Humphrey, you want to show the back cover? I don't think we showed the back cover. Yeah. There you go. So cool. Very, very cool. Very right. cool. And I love this track listing, too. Christine 16, I Want You. Got you to Choose, Flaming You. And then Second Side's Hard Luck Woman, Shout It Out Loud, Hotter Than Hell. Love theme. But what? That's so cool. Love Gun and Room Service. The last what a bizarre track. track list, man. Such a cool love theme. I only like one of those songs. Love theme? Of course. Yeah, love theme. <laughs> yeah. Of course. You know, he would. On that. <laughs> 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 All right. So um, Pablo says, uh, never seen any promo copy of microphone LPs for Kiss. He's only seen promo copies of Microphone 7 inch singles, not LPs. That's an interesting little tidbit of information. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. And then we move in. I guess distribution switched over to Phonogram in 1979. And we have uh, Dynastia, Dynasty, non laminated, 1979. Non laminated. I think mine may be left. Let's see. So does everybody's on this one? Does everyone's have the Spanish titles on it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It'll all be the same. Come on, Joe. Hold yours up too. <laughs> it's just it's a fake. Like it's like everybody else's. That's right. So, yeah, you know, you got. This is where we. I guess in phonogram they really started to get into differing covers. Using uh, you know Spanish text and and all of that that kind of jazz so. label, and then I have this cool inner. I don't know if it's original or not. This logo. Oh, I don't know. that looks cool Let's though. See. Oh yeah, oh, we do it. have that. I bet that's original. Yeah, that is it. Yeah, <clears throat> I bet that's definitely original. That's cool. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Good. Very cool. Very I have so a uh, a straight jacket version of it too. Say it again, no, John. No, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Could you oh, imagine? Well, I said fifty-six. <laughs> hey, this is the the only podcast where that joke where that joke would work. Yeah, I have the straight jacket version of that, and everybody's like, "What? What? What? What?" Yeah. 
<laughs> Nerd. <laughs> All right. So what's up next? Joe, you, you in that list? Danny Dabs. Yes, I am. Destructor. Danny Dabs. Danny Dabs. Oh, All right. So Destructor, we go back to Destroyer. So we have a non-laminated 1980 Destructor Destroyer. Destructor. Anyone? I said non-laminated. <laughs> it's a sleeve. <laughs> I said non-laminated. <laughs> All you fuckers are laminated. That's right. Well, it's got a sleeve or something. Oh, so yeah, John. So they do that sometimes in South America, right? Have you guys seen that where they like will tape the plastic over? Right onto the record. Have you gotten right. them delivered that way? Now, John yeah. Five. All joking aside, I think that might be the laminated version. Yes. Yeah, mine's laminated. It is. Like mine you're... also. Yeah, I I have the laminated version here as well. I think okay. So where does that pop yeah. up, Joe? Is that next? Okay. Yeah, so yes. So, yes. Not so laminated they, and then laminated. So they if anybody has that, they came yeah. out in the same year. Okay, so, so there's two versions then. So mine yeah. is. Wow. Do you think? Do you think That's somebody laminated. in the factory? Was like, there's going to be four dudes that are going to be do a, a, you know, show about this. Let's do one yeah. laminate, one yeah. not laminated. Yeah, of That's course. You remember that old, remember that cool old Conan bit in the year two thousand. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, there will be a podcast of four guys. That's the label. Did we already do that? No, you did it just then. All right. So I assume with that shiny, is that laminated? Yeah. Yeah, mine's well. laminated. Yeah. Okay. Does anyone have a non-laminated one? Do not. Mm -hmm. No non-laminated. Well, wow. hey, my sleeve also has that. Ah. Oh, nice. Let's see. No, I don't think so. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. There that. you go. Oh yeah. Very nice. Grubus Maximus. All right. After Destructor. We go into the rock and rollovers with the different covers. There's oh, a laminated yeah. and a non-laminated. Of course there is. What does everyone have? So I have both. I oh, you do? Oh, so yeah. I that, and I think the difference, the quick difference, what it seems to me anyway, is there are, I can kind of, so you can see that one has bold text. Hold on to your pants, everybody. This one has. This one seems sealed. Regular text. Hold those back up again. Sorry. All right. Let's now see that I had you sold. Can you? Let's see. What am I doing here? Where am I going? There. Nope. Nope. Wait a second. So you're saying the print size is different? The pr yes, the print size is different and heavier on one of them. You see how it's smaller on the yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What wait a second. What so my cover? cover my cover is non-laminated. And here are the two different versions. So and I have <clears throat> this label. I think it's a smaller print. Oh, so on. this one this one's laminated. I'm just doing a double check here. Hang on. Yeah, this one's laminated. Yes. Laminate. So, so it looks like that is that is a difference anyway. There's a label difference as well. This one is not laminated, and then I have the laminated version. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like there's a slight variation on the labels as well on that one. This record looks like it's never been played. And then I have this totally legit copy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Go out and buy as many as you can. They're hot and they're rare. They're so rare, man. Dude, throw it up on one of those damn auction pages. You could probably get a thousand dollars for it. <laughs> like the Vinny One creatures. million dollars. Like the Vinny fucking creatures. There you go. I've been telling people for years, guys, don't pay a thousand dollars for this. It's somebody continuing to print them in their basement. <laughs> All right. Laminated and non-laminated. What's next? So, Love Gun, uh, Re Revolver de Amour. Usually with Probably. Musical Express sticker, there is a <clears throat> laminated and non-laminated. Came out in 1980. I think this is the laminated. Okay. 
No. Joe? Yes. Yeah, mine's laminated. Don't know. I don't have that one. Mine is laminated as well. All with the hype sticker. Yeah, all with that. Or the yeah, sticker. All with anyway, that Google yeah. Express sticker. Yeah. The bag has, you know. You know. The label. Yeah. Very nice. So we have no non laminated. And it, and it's a very thin, you know, it's like so fine that that laminate. Right. Yeah, that's the back yeah, of it. Yeah, it'll chip off easily. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, is the non laminate just totally matte? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. There's a definite difference. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you for sure can. Yeah, can tell. <laughs> All right. So yeah, now we we have. Go ahead. Keep going. So, sorry, Joe. The Paul Peter Ace Y Gene. The solo albums. That's the solo albums. There is also laminated and non laminated covers. This one is non laminated. By the way, just for the record, here Mine is, is the, laminated. Uh, oh, cool. The, the inner on that rock and roll over. So I was just trying to. You guys keep showing those. I have that as well somewhere. Mine is laminated. Fives is not laminated. Okay, so check this out. Mine is laminated. All right. And so five, you only have one. You just have the non-laminated? Yes. Okay. Looks like we've all got some buying to do. I know. I didn't. So right, I'm, Joe, learning. Yeah. I'm learning. Here we go. Check that I'm out. Go, Look at I'm that. going back to so you can see the matte version is on yeah. the top, and then you can see the glare here on the, yep. okay. on the bottom yeah. one. So yeah, it's this one is very, very matte, like uncoated paper, and then right. you get that real, you know, that like so you can just see it there. Nice. Excellent. Cool. So that and then I mean, yeah, it's still showing the glare, but this one's definitely matte. Got it. That's cool. So, there you go. Very cool. That's cool. That's the back of the Yep, the solo one. The best of the solo Love one. that logo. Okay. Yeah. What's that in the on the corner, John Humphrey? What is the other corner? What Sorry, is yeah. This oh thing? yeah. Yeah. So uh, is that a record store sticker or something? Yeah. Ravija Discos. Ah. It looks like a record store or something, yes, right? It's a record store. It's, mine. it's mine a sticker. Have, yeah. yeah. Mine doesn't have that. Wow, that's weird. It is a sticker. Oh, cool. Neat, neat, neat. Learning, learning, learning. Learning, learning, learning. Keep your... All right. And then we have uh, the Unmasked up next, which is... Uh, how do you say that? Desi Mikardos. I don't there know. you go, Desi Mikardos. Apparently, there is only one version, and it's laminated. Oh, it's even... Yes, mine's laminated. <clears throat> cool. Cool, Julio. Oh, yeah, Spanish titles. Yes, yeah, Spanish titles all on the back. Joe's making noise over there. Here's here's yeah. Joe. Uh, let's watch. Let's watch. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> here's Joe. In, 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 in every language, it still speaks to me. Yeah. You think this is a promo? What is yeah. that? Can't. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I I, may, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, very I cool. I think it could be. That's cool. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he says, does he say? Let's see what he says. Promo copies, uh, Pablo does say promo copies exist for all Argentina phonogram LPs. Okay, so, nice. So there are promos for each of these. Something else to keep us all up at night. That's right. right. Promo oh, no. copies of ours. Now you gotta go find the promos of all these damn things. Yeah, yeah hello, Discogs. <laughs> yeah. oh. All right. What's after that? Uh, hotter than Mas hell. Caliente. Mas caliente. Ah. We're back, we're back oh, to it, yeah. 
Laminated. One of my yeah. favorites, yeah. So let me show a little something a little different here. So I've got this guy, which is the regular right. copy. Yeah. Cool, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then here's this guy, which is the promo copy. Promo. Nice. Oh, Excellent. Nice. Very cool. At the top there, promotional. Excellent. That's great. Yeah. So there you go. The, those two on that one. It's hard to handle records and <clears throat> the back of that. I love that one. Super yeah, cool. So yep. Love it. So cool. What a great cover, man. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. like one of another favorite. Such a great cover. And since we're showing uh, unofficial stuff too, there's the Yes. The unofficial right. picture disc. Which was really well legit. Yeah, very legit. <laughs> Yeah. Well done. Yeah, I think it's so cool. Unofficial. Absolutely. 138 out of 500. First $1,000 bidder, it's yours. <laughs> oh, everything is falling apart here. So next, Dress to Kill, light blue Kiss logos on the cover. 1981 laminated. There you go. Check that out. Looks, that looks I great. It. I it Super cool. Time. Hold that up. Again, Humphrey. Five, you have that? It's a great one. Super cool. You don't have that, John? Five? No, I don't have that one. Love it. It has that sleeve again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Label. And I, I, this I think it's just a, a copy of an ad, but I think that's kind of cool. Oh, I love it. Oh, I just have that cool. in there. <clears throat> Yeah, that is nice. that is so cool. Yeah, John, do you how handy is your Argentina promo poster for the best of the solos? Uh, handy. it's handy. Let me see. Because that would be a cool, cool thing to show. La da do. La da do. It can happen to you. <laughs> There we go. Let's show this puppy. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh yes, oh, look yeah. at that. That's cool. This is a Pretty phonogram cool. phonogram in store promo poster that shows the best of the solos, Denistia, the the unmasked, the love gun. That is so cool. That's awesome. Yeah. I've been getting a lot of stuff from Argentina lately. A lot that is of stuff. Great. Great, great, great. So next in the pile from Phonogram, 1981, non-laminated, is The Elder. Is that La Mayor? Los, Los Mayor. Los Mayor. Mayor. Mayor is, yes, I do not have that. I do. Jason, you got it? I do. Back looks like that. Yeah, that's beautiful. Mine's. <clears throat> it's not laminated. Is this? Are there two versions or? Nope. Not okay. all non-laminated. Okay. Cool. There is the label. Uh, oh, maybe someone covered it. These are non-gate folds as well for anybody who wants to know. Yeah, that's right. Gate folds. And then the last phonogram <clears throat> is killers, non laminated. And I don't have that. I don't have it either. I know. Jay Five's got it. Look nice. at that, he does. Let's nice. Woohoo. Good one. And then uh, let's see. And then label on that some bitch. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, what's the track it, listing on it? Just curious. It's all. It's I cannot pronounce it. Oh, so it doesn't have the English underneath. No. 
No. I was curious what track listing they went with. You know, was it Euro, Japanese, Australian, or was it their own? Yeah, that one's tough to get. Yes. Yeah, it's got Escape from the Island. Okay, so that's Japanese. Or generally and speaking. Side 2 starts with a world without heroes. God, I, can't, I, can't, I, I don't even know. I can't even... I love it. Underneath The Oath, the first, first song on side one. The Oath, Fanfare, Just a Boy, Dark Light. That's the Elder. Under the Rose. That's the Elder. That's the Elder, John. Oh, Killers. Oh, my Killers. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shit. He's just, hey, guys, be nice. He's just getting into the band, okay? <laughs> what please. year? What album? <laughs> Where am I? Well, I'm so sorry. Good night, Cleveland. <laughs> I spaced out. I don't have it. That's right. You said you don't have it, and you were in song titles. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny. Oh, good. I'm so sorry. Okay, so up next, uh, we they switched distribution from uh, phonogram to polygram from 83 to 92, and we're probably going to be lacking in a lot of this. So the first one is Creatures. Uh, something yeah. Gritches de la Noche. Or how de la Noche. Mine's a little rough for wear, but oh well. Okay. My creature starts with a world without heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Escape from the island. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and fan That's great. It's really weird. Uh, that's really, really funny. Weird. It's cool. That's good. That's rich. <laughs> you, just see him, you, you just see him pass out. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's funny. Han. That's funny, Han Jumpery. <laughs> Han Jumpery. <laughs> the back cover. Yep. Brody, Brody. Yours is beat, Jason. Get that off the screen. Let's look at the good ones. I agree. <laughs> yeah, mine's a little rough, too. Oh, did you see Jason's? I kiss my ass. <laughs> Different it's another record. Another show. Different yeah. record. <laughs> yeah. Weirdly, I don't have that one. As, as no. big of a creature's collection as I have, I don't have that one. Now I got a couple zingers here. Zingus. I got this. Oh, hold on. Let's. Would would Gene Simmons, radioactive. Really. Yeah. So can you see that in the? Yeah. See. Gonna need like you to read all sampler? that. Too. And then yeah, it's on it's got side two. Gene Simmons Radioactive. Hold on, let me show Does it have that. Funky Town on it? Oh, my stupid. Anyway, so that's it. You and your that's 70s that. ambient lighting. I know, right? <laughs> wow, Mercury. that's crazy. Yeah, pretty cool. How did you Thank How you. did you find out about that? Uh, it just came up, and I was like, oh, shit, snap. Wow. Now, I, never... I, I don't know if this is... Brazil. John has Spanish speaking minions. <laughs> that is, I believe, Brazil. Yeah. Is it? Yep. I believe that's Brazil. Yeah. Okay. That's another show. That is, yeah, that's next week. So, okay. so we've covered El Salvador, Brazil, <laughs> yeah. and Argentina. <laughs> yeah, on this, all South on the, on the Argentinian. Kiss my right. Eyes. All right. Yeah. So five, just sit back and relax. We have about yeah. eight, eight more to go. Uh, Non-laminated tamalo, lick it up. Who has it? I do. I've got yes. two of them. I do. I do. I have. You look say at you this. have two this, of them? I do. Oh, I do. I need to buy that from you. One's a promo, Holmes. Oh yeah. Never mind then. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> so what's look how gray that is? Yeah. Yeah. That's in shit condition. Take that off the screen. Gray, let's see yours then, Jason. <laughs> Just go ahead, put Jason up, let us see. And then here's <laughs> then there's nice. the yeah, so very gray, you know, background there. Right. And then, um, this one is Jason, there's the stamp that you were showing earlier. Oh, cool, yes, very cool. Yeah, there's the nice. promo, yep, label on that one. So, Follow. yeah, 
So it doesn't say the tomorrow or whatever on the cover. It just says it on the label. Uh, correct. Yes, it's all Spanish. Um, Spanish, uh, actually, Spanish with English in parentheses. Gotcha. On, on but the that's label. not. It right. just says lick it up on the cover, right? Correct. On the cover cover. But on the back, but on the back cover, it does not. Hang on one second. Oh, that is cool. Oh, man. wow. Tamalo. Tamalo. Cool. Not today, but tomorrow. I got to get one. That's right. I got to get one of those. That's great. That's cool. All right. So, non laminate. So, up next is Animalizer Czar. Animalizer. Uh, I'm going on record and saying, look, Craig has given up. He's completely left Craig's the out. show. He's like, this is, <laughs> this is some, this is, <laughs> this is some bullshit. What the hell did I sign up for? Yeah, Craig, right. I'll see I you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's right. Humphrey, Humphrey, you should read the track listing. From yeah, that really quick. Can you read the track listing? It from is. That yeah, right. really quick? I will. It starts with Detroit Rock City. <laughs> <laughs> World without heroes. <laughs> no, yes. Hey, from the island. He, he puts and, his glasses on and he's like, oh, oh. Oh, I see. Wrong yeah. fucking album. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so since no I nobody has animal eyes, right? I'm going yeah, on record and saying I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I only okay. have yeah, revenge and that's Okay, about it. that's good. I'm glad you have that. So here's Animal Eyes. And this is what the back cover looks like. And then on the label, you can see where it says Animalizer. So that's what you're looking for, folks. And then after that, <coughs> excuse me, we have Asylum, which is a silo, non-laminated. Talk amongst yourselves. I will pull up a couple of... <laughs> By contract, just so everyone knows out there in uh, listener land, John Five is not allowed to own anything after 1983. Yes, <laughs> no. Just, just in case I, by, con by contract. It automatically goes in the mail to you guys, of course. Automatically. I don't know. I, I haven't been getting anything automatically in the mail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, the next thing I buy post-1983, I'll send to you, Joe. He's never, ever bought anything post-1983. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm not buying post-83. <laughs> I, I have to, actually, I take that back. I did get the incredibly rare um, pinball machine. Pinball machine, yeah. Polygram did, pinball machine. From Jason, did you get a pinball machine? <laughs> We haven't heard uh, no, about I got, it yet, I got the Lick It Up 8 track from. Oh, did I put that up there? I didn't mean to do that. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon All right, here's, here's Asylum from Argentina. Did I, did I put this up there? I did not mean to. I, <laughs> <laughs> and there you see it says Asylo on Asylo. The a silo tomorrow and it, when and it has silo. a blue mercury label all right oh, boy. that's cool all right hold on a little, just a few more no uh, chase locas non-laminated including in uh lyrics inner sleeve crazy nights from 87 thank Jason you. that'll Pinnett. help me that'll help me out when you do that because i have to upload them individually so <laughs> see a lot of shows do this up front you you no. can <laughs> Not this one. We <laughs> <laughs> we're on the flies, fuckers. That's right. <laughs> All right, I won't show that bad. Let's. Here we go. Here is Crazy Nights. I couldn't load them all up front because uh, you, there's not enough room inside of Streamyard. It won't yeah. let you. And no chess. No chess. All right. No Joe, what's next? Locas. And then we have uh, smashes, thrashes, and hits. Even they chose not to translate that one. Uh, non <laughs> non, non, -lam non laminated, 1988. 
Let me throw up the label real quick. Pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Yeah, it's like, it little, it's like a, a printed. Yeah, like I think. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we move on to what's next? Uh, hot in the shade. shade. Yep. <laughs> Calor en la sombra. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Hello. That's what they tell me. I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is a perfect show to uh, promote John Five's new single, Que Pasa. Yeah. Oh, let's, let's do oh, it. Oh, see? Oh, look at that. Pasa. Yeah, yeah, see? Hey, check this out. This is a pretty cool label. Oh, Vertigo. Oh, wow. Yeah, the yeah. Vertigo. Yeah. The Vertigo label. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> That's awesome. Okay. All right. So what's next, Joe? Zero. Last but uh, uh, not least, Vengaza, Revenge, non-laminated, 1992. Humphrey, you choose. Oh, look at, look at Humphrey. That's great. Look at that. That's a cool cover. That's great. Right. Okay. And and so, you know, those that don't know, um, can you pull out the label? Yeah. There is there is an extended mix of paralyzed on this yes. uh, in the mumble part. Um, it is it is longer. It's a whole measure or two couple of measures longer. Yeah. That's <laughs> uh, who's doing that? Joe quit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the track listing is World Without Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Escape from the yeah. island. That is God, man, Escape how many times island. are they going to play those fucking songs? <laughs> <laughs> Same songs right. on every album. That's right. Pablo also <laughs> notes that there are existence of promo copies for all Argentina and Polygram LPs, except for Revenge. He's personally never seen one for Revenge. Okay. So, so there's promos for all those other records. Not, not the microphones. Phonogram oh. and Polygram. Oh, that's right. Yep. Phonogram and Polygram. So like all the, the weird changed covers, there, there's yeah. promos for all of those. And then all the last ones we just showed, but not those first batches. So... And that's it, guys. Yeah. Somehow we made it all the way through that country in an hour. Yeah. Wow. So. There we go. There you go. There so you go. Why, why don't we quickly talk about what you guys are doing if you want to? Yeah, let's do you that. You guys want to talk about it? You want to, John Humphrey, you want to talk about what Cedar's up to and what you've been up to? They're, Joe, they're like, yeah. Seriously, now we we get <laughs> we get way better promotion than this fucking little. I'm not trying to promote. I'm just trying to discuss. Jeez, it's all good. No, I appreciate well, it, man. Yeah, see, there's back out on the road, which is great. We started uh, our tour up in July, and um, we were on tour, uh, co-headlining with Three Doors Down. We've been doing some shows, and then we've been doing festivals um, as well. Just did the Blue Ridge uh, Rock Fest, and uh, we'll do Louder Than Life, and um aftershocks coming up so that'll go through october 17th so yeah right now we fly home maybe a couple days a week which is nice spend a little time with our families and then we head back out on the road and so i leave again tomorrow and uh, fly out for st louis and so yeah we're doing that until october it's great to be playing shows again be back out on the road and you know doing what we love to do play music very cool very That's cool awesome. and do you have any plans after october or is that all still up in the air you guys still making plans we're talking about maybe some more dates in December, but uh, uh, we'll see what happens. We may just come off and just and wait till next year. That, so that, hopefully things will continue to open up and cool. hopefully do some overseas stuff finally or, or something. That means you have the whole month of November to record Kiss My Wax episodes. Oh, man. we got to figure out what we're going to do next. <laughs> Guatemala. 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 Chile. <laughs> Kiss El my wax shorts. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> England. Yeah, the short. These are like fifteen minutes. Ireland. Yeah. Ireland. <laughs> yeah. Iran. Record. It's one record. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's uh, it. Iceland. One. Yeah. Oh, two. Yeah. Two. Yeah, two. That's only well, one for, for me. you. Yeah. yeah, only one for me. Yeah. All about five. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, five? Nothing. You got a record? 
you got come on let's it. talk about it what's going on uh just got off the road i did a um uh, a ton of shows with the creatures and they were very successful and i was worried about it because we were indoors and it was crazy and it was packed and, and it was very uh you know not covid friendly fauci would not approve but we did it and um then we did um then i went and did a bunch of shows with zombie we did rocklahoma i think we did blue ridge and we did all these things and actually uh joe came out to see us at uh, DTE at the uh, WRIF Riff Fest, so that was uh, always fun. That was cool. And and uh, coming up, what do we have? We have let's see, I have a record coming out October 29th called Sinner, and uh, Peter Chris was on the album, so that's that's wonderful. Ooh. Awesome. And uh, what band did he play in? Yeah, that's right, Chris. <laughs> Yeah, that's Chris. right. Yeah. yeah. Balls of fire. Balls of, Balls fire. of fire. Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea. And uh, then also we have a, we're going to do a show with uh, in Florida, November with Metallica. Oh, and wow. then we are going to I think Belize and doing uh, some shows there. So all sorts of good stuff happening. Really, really uh, happy to be working. That's for sure. Yeah. Any kiss records yeah. from Belize? Oh no. I think me and Joe were gonna go. You better believe it. <laughs> Get in the gunks. <laughs> Be here all week, folks. Yeah, waka waka. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Come on, waka 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 waka. Come on, big red nose. <laughs> Is this thing on? Uh yeah. So all yeah. right. Well, I was hello, Argentina. hello. <laughs> 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 so yeah, a lot of stuff going on. So just happy to be making music, happy to be playing, and um, yeah, you know, just just doing it. Yeah, as happy as we were to have you guys be able to do shows while we were uh, sort of on COVID break, we are extremely happy that you guys are back out there doing what you love and uh, and having a good time. So very cool. And thanks for taking time to out of your schedules to do this. Very cool. Absolutely, Absolutely, man. Thank yeah. you. Thanks good to see you advice. guys. Yeah, good to see you too. All right. Well, that's it, guys. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>